Escanaba Area Public Schools Superintendent Kobe Fletcher and other school officials addressed a mold problem in the igloo on July 11th. We held a building and grounds committee meeting uh, actually in the facility and determined at that point that we needed to figure out what the scope of the problem was. Testing found elevated levels of mold inside the facility. The high school football teams and visiting teams used the igloo, their locker room, to get ready for games and store their gear. We got with people who could do the mold abatement for us uh, and we spent, uh, oh, I'd say about two, two and a half weeks working on the mold abatement, scrubbing the air, uh, doing pretty much everything we needed to do to get the nasty stuff out of the facility. Everything was ripped out from carpet to ceiling tiles. A little over a month later, the mold problem is a thing of the past. It's a 100% difference. Uh, you know, if you go in while the equipment's in there, it still smells a little bit like a locker room. The smell of mold or mildew, the unhealthy part of the smell, uh, is pretty much entirely gone. It smells like a clean facility. The entire cost to eradicate the mold and install new preventative measures like dehumidifiers came in below $20,000, which the school district had set aside. We actually did have funds that were budgeted for this type of thing. The nice thing about it is, is we haven't had to go take money from anywhere we weren't expecting to have to take it in order to get this done. The renovated locker room is ready just in time for the Eskimo season opener Friday night against Alpena. In Escanaba, Jerry Taylor, ABC 10 and the CW5.